Okay, we're going to talk about prepositions commonly used in the future. The first one is by. Now, by introduces uh, a time, and the time is a deadline. Now, what does a deadline mean? A deadline is a time that you have to do something before or the same time. So, an example of that would be renting a video, okay, or a DVD. If you rent a DVD today, probably you can keep the DVD for one day. Okay, maybe two days, maybe one week. So if today were Friday and I rent a DVD today, I have to return it, maybe it's a one week rental, so the deadline is next Friday. The deadline. Now, I can return the DVD tomorrow. I can return the DVD on Sunday. I can return the DVD on Monday. I can also return the DVD on Friday, next Friday. So Friday is our deadline. And when you use deadlines, we usually use by. Okay? Now, what is the difference with by and before. Well, when you use by, with my example about the DVD rental, I can re return the DVD before Friday and I can return the DVD on Friday. This meaning we say by Friday. If, the, if I can't return the DVD on Friday, you have to say before Friday. So Thursday is the last day, okay? Now usually this is, there's not a big difference between before and by. So many, many times in English we use by very, very, very similarly to before. Now when you use by, you have to just say uh, a, a time. So by Friday, by 3 o'clock, by... Um, by January 2nd, okay? But if you want to say a longer sentence, example, you want to say, I get home this time, I get home. You have to say, by the time. So example, by the time I get home. Okay, so some examples from the website. It will probably rain by 6 p.m. So this means before 6 p.m., also 6 p.m., almost the same meaning as before. I am going to get home by 6 p.m., okay? Uh, also, this is very common for future perfect. She will have graduated by 2011, okay? Now, by the time, by the time you go to bed tonight. I won't have finished work yet. Okay, so that's by and by the time. Now, almost the same meaning is within, but within, we don't say, we don't say a single point in time. Within, we have to say a period of time. Okay, so we have to talk about a period. So, if right now it is 8 a.m., and my meaning is by 12 p.m., okay? So 8 o'clock now, 12 p.m. here. You can say by 12 p.m., or you can say within and the period of time. So that's one, two, three, four hours, within four hours, okay? So... An example, he will be here, he will be here within a week, one week. So sometime here, he will be here. Okay, now, throughout. Throughout is, is used to describe an action that continues from start to finish of something. Okay, so example, the best example is a movie. Okay, here the movie starts, and I sleep.
and I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping, and the movie finishes, and I wake up. This is called throughout the movie. Throughout the movie, Mark slept. Okay? So it continues the whole time. Now, how do you say the movie? How do you say, yeah, Mark sleep? Only not from start to finish, but here. Okay, maybe in the middle of the movie. Okay? So start, I'm watching the movie, and uh, this is a boring movie, and I get tired, and I get tired, and I fall asleep, and then I wake up, and oh, uh, okay, this is more interesting, and I sleep, and then I wake up, and I watch the end of the movie, and, and I leave. What is, how do you say that? Mark slept during the movie. So throughout focuses on all the whole time from start to finish sleep throughout the movie but during just means uh, sometime in the in this movie here okay so throughout and during also very common in the future tense in in I always tell students that in is the most important preposition for future tenses okay now when we use in we are talking about when will the action happen in the future, okay? So think about the past tense. You guys understand ago, okay? Well, I came to this city three days ago, okay? That means three days in the past from now, okay? Well, the opposite, in the future, three days in the future from now, we would say in three days, in. So I am going to Hawaii in three days, okay? I am going to Hawaii in two weeks, okay? My mother will call me in one hour, okay? Very, very, very common. Uh, for, you probably understand for, we use for in every tense. And four talks about how long something happens. So, um, I am going to be away, how long? For a week, okay? He is going to be there for six hours, okay? Now, before and after, I'm sure you understand before and after. One thing I want to talk about, though, is we use before and after commonly with gerunds. So we say before and a verb ing. Before taking a shower tomorrow, I will have eaten breakfast. Before finishing a class, we will have taken a test. Okay, and of course you can use before or after with a subject and a verb. Before we finish class, we will have taken a test. Now finally, until. Until means that something continues and then stops at a time. Something, but it's very important to understand that it continues. Okay? So, until we get married. Until we get married. Get married is here. Now, I'm talking about this thing. What continues? What continues? We are going to live, not together, apart. So, until we get married, <coughs> I have to talk about something that continues if I say until. We are going to live apart. Okay? It will rain. It will rain. It will rain. It will rain until the afternoon. So those are the uh, prepositions that we commonly use in the future. In the exercise, very simple exercise, you have to complete the sentences under the picture with the correct prepositions. Now please understand that maybe more than one preposition is possible. So 
If you think more than one preposition is possible, please write the different choices. Good luck.